really highly successful businessman who also happens to be passionate about our environment and keeping this world clean and healthy. So I just wanted to get those kind of things out of the way, right off the top. Now let me get to your question. Um, we were very successful in California, even though there were a lot of naysayers that said that it would never happen, but to pass some of the uh, strongest environmental laws in the world. And uh, I think that it was very fortunate that it was a Republican governor and a Democratic legislature. So this way the environmentalists felt comfortable that they were covered because of the Democrats, and the business community was felt comfortable that they were covered because it was a Republican governor. So that was kind of the, the ideal situation, to bring everyone, to bring businesses and environmentalists, Democrats and Republicans, and uh, you know, the academic community and everyone together to make this possible. So we were very proud of that, but we knew that the fight is not over, that now the next thing you have to do is actually execute this through the Air Resources Board and hit our goals. It's one thing to make up goals and to say we want to reduce greenhouse gases by 25% by the year 2020, brought it back to the 1990 level basically, and 85% reduction by the year 2050. So that's a great goal, but we have to get there. So with the issue of the Air Resources Board and Mary Nichols, who I appointed, uh, is a fantastic woman who worked on the national stage, but did such a great job during the Clinton administration. I brought her to California, and she's now running the Air Resources Board. Uh, so we knew that that is an important thing to follow through. But then I also said we're going to get attacked from the outside because the oil and the coal companies are not going to take this line down. We know how they operate. So sure enough, when the year comes year 2010, they were there with millions of dollars trying to take out all of our environmental laws and our progress that we've made. So of course, I immediately think we have warned them. They said, we're not going to go and take that, like the Washington politicians that can be paid off very easily with just a few dollars, and they would do everything that the oil and coal companies want them to do. But we're not going to do that. California is a little different. We're going to push back. Yes, so I reached out to as many people that had influence and were powerful. Secretary George Schultz, great Republican, uh, Tom Steyer, great Democrat, and this is uh, Jim Cameron, who is the director of Terminator and uh, you know, uh, True Lies and Avatar and all those kind of movies, um, who I never knew really what party he belongs to, but it doesn't really matter, but apparently he's a Democrat. Uh, <laughs> but we never talked about politics, we always talked about issues that are important, you know, because I don't get really that involved in Am I a Republican or a Democrat? I happen to be a Republican, but to me, those things are people's issues. It has nothing to do with party, because there is no Democratic air or Republican air. I mean, we all breathe the same air, right? There's no Democratic water or Republican water. We all drink the same water. So then let's all work, work together and solve those problems. But anyway, so the oil companies came, spent millions of dollars, and then Tom and Jim Cameron and George Schultz and myself, we went up and down the state, and we raised $31 million. And we spent it on fighting the oil and the coal companies from outside the state. It was specifically oil companies from Texas. They didn't like what we did in California because they knew what happens in California eventually happens nationwide. And so we fought them and we battled them. And the land then came November, election day, we terminated them. <laughs> Tom, because uh, Tom, Tom and I have been very, very passionate. Not that we see everything exactly the same way, how we should move forward, and what we should fight for, not fight for, and all those kind of things, but we are marching in the same direction. And I think this is so important, and this is why it's great to have uh, Tom here, because he's really smart and passionate about the subject. So, so let me say this. 